My name is Dr. Antoine Rubin from the Institute of Aeronautic Research here in Paris, and today we are going to talk about oscillating flay patterns of balsa wood gliders. There are three forces acting on the glider. There's the lift, acting on the wings, providing an upward force, weight pulling up the glider downwards, and aerodynamic drag opposing the motion. At the beginning of motion, most of the mechanical energy is potential energy. And in its initial descent, the velocity increases until the lift is so great that the glider begins to ascend. This happens because the lift is proportional to the velocity of the air passing over the wings. I've drawn up a couple graphs here to represent velocity as a function of time and flight path angle as a function of time. Both concepts are essential to completely understanding the motion of flight that a glider takes. Here I also have force balance equations parallel to the direction of motion and perpendicular to it. So at this point, most of the mechanical energy has been converted to kinetic energy. Most, not all, because some of the energy has been lost to drag. Now, the glider will climb until the kinetic energy is converted back to potential energy, at which point it reaches a second peak, and the process will repeat itself. Thank you. That's all I have. Now let's take one more look at that glider.